Hello, this is Dataji, and I am going to be preaching the spiritual knowledge of Sri Dataswami. Dear devotees, in this world only atheist is the fraud preacher, and you should condemn such fraud preachers who preach that God does not exist. All the other preachers who accept the existence of God are not fraud teachers, and therefore nobody should condemn them. A person who teaches that you should not go to the school at all is a fraud teacher and should be vehemently condemned. But all the teachers in the school or college or university are not fraud teachers. They are true teachers who suit to different levels of the students. You should not scold the school teacher after going to the college. When you leave the college and go to the university, you should not scold the lecturer of the college after hearing to the university professor. The school teacher, the college lecturer, and the university professor constitute the ladder of knowledge for all these students to climb up. The lower step should not be condemned after reaching the higher step. In the lower stage of knowledge, there will be some errors and mistakes which suit to the students of that level. Gita says the same. The school teacher preaches the idol worship, which is suitable to the lowest cadre. In this stage, people are with full jealousy and egoism. Their mental capacity is also low. Due to egoism and jealousy, they cannot worship the human form of Lord. Due to low mental capacity, they cannot imagine formless God, who is all-pervading like space or cosmic energy. Moreover, the devotion needs the worship of a limited form. Devotees want to serve the Lord, and they cannot serve the formless Lord. Due to these points, a statue, which is a representative model, is the best at this stage. The college lecturer preaches the formless God. The mental capacity of the student is grown to imagine the all-pervading God like space or energy. But the egoism and jealousy are not removed, so the student goes to the second step and meditates upon the formless God due to higher mental capability, but cannot worship the human form of the Lord due to egoism and jealousy. Therefore, due to the mistakes present in the students, the knowledge of that stage should be also erroneous to suit the students. In the second stage, the all-pervading nature of God is realized, but not the living nature of God. When the jealousy and egoism are completely eradicated and the mind is completely purified, that is Chitta Sudhi, Sankara says that such a student is eligible for Brahma Jnana Yoga, which is university level. At this final stage, the student recognizes and accepts the Lord in human form. The student worships the limited human form and also gets all his or her doubts clarified. This facility of living nature is not available in formless God or statue. But unless the egoism and jealousy are completely removed, this final stage is not at all possible. The student, after doing postgraduate course at university level, goes to higher levels like PhD or postdoctoral level. In this last stage, a student is fixed on the concept of monism or Advaita. In this stage, the student believes that the human body of the Lord and the Lord are one and the same, like the electric wire and the electricity. In this stage, whatever the human incarnation says is Veda and whatever the human incarnation does is Dharma. The student will not search Vedas or Dharma Sastra to verify what the Lord said is in Veda or not, or what the Lord did is Dharma or not. Hanuman and Gopikas were students of such research level. Dharma Raja was a postgraduate student only. When the Lord ordered him to tell a lie in the war, Dharma Raja verified the Lord's word in Dharma Sastra and refused to tell the lie. The Veda available today is a very small portion of the total Veda set by the Lord. The present Vedas are only one year recitation of sage Bharadwaja, who recited Vedas for 300 years. Even after 300 years, the sage found the remaining Vedas as large hills. Whatever he recited in 300 years was only a handful stone of that hill. This is said in Veda. 
Since the Lord is the author of Veda, the research student believes that whatever is said by the human incarnation is Veda, which may exist in the remaining part of Veda. This is 100% faith in human incarnation, which is the research level. If the devotee has 99% faith only, he will verify the Lord's preaching with Vedas and Sastras. For such postgraduate students only, the Lord preaches quoting Vedas and Sastras. For a research student, Vedas and Sastras need not be quoted. Sankara quoted Vedas and Sastras for postgraduate students. Sri Ramakrishna Paramahamsa never quoted Vedas or Sastras, and his preaching was for the research level students. Datam bhaje guru datam bhaje atri anasuya muni putram bhaje datam bhaje guru datam bhaje atri anasuya muni putram bhaje vani pate brahma vani pate vani pate brahma vani pate vani pate brahma vani pate lakshmi pate Lakshmi Pate, Lakshmi Pate, Vishnu Lakshmi Pate, Lakshmi Pate, Vishnu Lakshmi Pate, Gauri Pate, Shambhu Gauri Pate, Gauri Pate, Shambhu Gauri Pate, Gauri Pate, Shambhu Gauri Pate, Datam Bhaje, Guru Datam Bhaje, Atri Anasuya Muni Putram Bhaje, Datam Bhaje, Guru Datam Bhaje, Atri Anasuya Muni. Putram Bhaje